So I'm going to jump aboard this Jeremy fragrance. Head exploding, whatever the fuck it's been going on. Because I know I woke up a little bit ago. I saw it all over 4chan, bass notes, Fragranica, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to give my opinion on it. To strike while the iron is hot in the YouTube algorithm to make $5. Um, honestly, I didn't think the videos were that bad. <clears throat> Um, I think it's uh, I think it's just as bad on the community. I think it shows more so than him actually because um again I've said this before, dude. Um, I don't think his original videos were that bad. I think a lot of people just hated him because he's good looking. Probably just projecting. He didn't come off as a huge douchebag to me. Probably just people getting mad that he's getting sucked off. Whatever. I didn't think the whole sexual harassment thing was that big of a deal. It didn't look that insane to me. I mean, I don't know what kind of text messages people have sent with people. They, That was pretty tame compared to things that I've seen before. Um, but, you know, I think it looks bad on the community because it just goes to show, though, that for the legitimate things where he has actually done, like, shady shit, he didn't get called out on it enough, right? And he wasn't held accountable. Like, I mean, when he was making videos like, um, fragrances are my life, it's the only thing I care about. Uh, so I'm selling all my fragrances and I need a Patreon to help me pay for fragrances, which is complete bullshit because even at that time, what did he have? Like 200,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's, that goes to show you, didn't he have like 200,000 subscribers at the time? And now he has like 600,000, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure if fragrances were his only thing in life, that if you have 200,000 subscribers on YouTube or whatever it was at that time, you have enough money to buy fragrances for yourself, right? So that was complete bullshit, and he said he had to sell the fragrances that he didn't like because he was only about 10 out of 10s or whatever wording he used, right? And then a few days later, a few a few videos later, all his fragrances were already back on the backside of his thing, right? And he made a video buying a Ferrari and all this kind of stuff. So it's like, dude, like that is the kind of legit, legitimate shady shit that he should have been called out for more, right? So that looks bad on the community that you were supporting someone like that. Obviously, that was shady of him, right? And then again, that there's that sexual harassment thing that I didn't think was that big of a deal. Looking at it, um, maybe there was more, but whatever. Um, there's that supposedly a video he stole, which didn't seem that bad to me. But then he made a video talking about it, which maybe then maybe, maybe did steal it. I don't know, but just as it was, it wasn't like fucking Shakespeare of a YouTube video. It didn't seem that crazy to me, dude. So it didn't seem that bad. But again, the Patreon thing was shady saying I'm only about fragrances and then selling all the fragrances you don't like, but then they're back a few videos later. Like, that's legitimately shady stuff, right? Like, that's like you, a dude is basically, in my opinion, that's not much better than someone who pretends to be sick and makes a Patreon and asks for money, right? I mean, there's not much difference between what he did there and that. He, he, he lied, in my opinion, to get money. The only psychological... Thing I could think of that is if you were to think of yourself as a brand, well, having a Ferrari looks good for your fragrance brand, right? I guess that could be like how you psychologically make it okay to yourself, right? That you did it, but again, that was kind of a shady thing, right? Um, and now this whole uh, but you know, now we get to this whole uh, the office fragrance, whatever, right? And these videos he's been making, honestly, first of all. I wasn't gonna buy his fragrances because I only have so many, so much of a disposable income for buying fragrances in the first place, and it's just too much money and not uh, not giving samples or whatever. You know, uh, that's kind of stupid, but whatever he can do, what he can wants to do. But it's not shady per se. I mean, he had almost what didn't he make almost a million dollars out of people donating to the fragrance, right? And those people are still gonna get the fragrance, to my knowledge, right? So. There's nothing really shady there, right? I mean, he, you donate money and you're still going to get the fragrances, right? So there's nothing really shady about that to me. Um, you, you played by the rules, I guess. You know what I mean? You don't care You don't care if you get a sample of it and you're still going to buy it. That's on you. Just like on him saying that um, <clears throat> he is uh, now going to raise the fragrance to a triple, right? Well, the people that are still getting the old fragrance from Patreon aren't being scammed, right? So, I mean... Is that really scammy? It might be stupid, but is he actually scamming you out of money like I believe he did with the Patreon? No, I don't, right? I mean, I'm just calling like a spade a spade, right? I mean, if he's telling you that he's going to like uh, make the fragrance more money, 
I mean, is it stupid? Yeah, it's probably stupid, right? Um, because is it worth that? Probably no. And it also makes it sound stupid because they didn't even make a video saying that to. Didn't he make a video that he got like his fragrance for free a few bottles and he just destroyed it in front of you? So he just destroyed like thousands of dollars in front of his fucking followers, which is ridiculous, right? But maybe he took that video down too. I don't know. I know he's done a lot of taking down videos and stuff like that, right? But um, whatever, dude. Um, again, and here's the thing. Even if people are mad about this, again, everyone that donated to this Kickstarter first are still getting the fragrance. It's just the people afterwards that are getting screwed, right? And are they getting screwed? I mean, I don't know, dude. I mean, again, I'm not going to buy it because not only is it too much money and you don't get a tester or a sample or whatever, you, uh, it's just like not my kind of fragrance from the sound of it, right? I mean, people, if they watch my video for fragrances, they know what kind of fragrances I like. So the only shady thing is uh, about the video was him saying that I'm not in it for the money. Okay. But if he, if he didn't say that, if he just said that I'm just tripling the price of the fragrance because I think it's worth more than that, that wouldn't be shady. The only shady thing was that he said I'm not in it for the money, and then he triples it, right? That's the shady thing. Everything else isn't shady. Trying to get more money out of it, dude, I mean, well, he just fucking screwed you guys for a fucking Ferrari. Like, why the fuck wouldn't he do that? He made videos saying that fragrances are only my life. He was crying in them. He showed videos of him selling all his fragrances. You donated money to his Patreon because he supposedly had no money for fragrances when he has 200,000 subscribers on YouTube at that point, I think it was. And then he buys a Ferrari, and then in a few videos later, all the fragrances are back on his shelf. So, I mean, obviously, you can tell his audience doesn't really fucking care, so why the fuck wouldn't he do that, right? If he did not say the line of, I'm not in it for the money, the video would not have been shady. Maybe it would have been stupid on some level, but it wouldn't have been shady, right? So that's my opinion. Uh, just because I think he gets a bad rap for things that aren't warranted, and then people give him a pass on things that are legitimately shady. That is fucking, it's strange to me, but I know I've said this before. I think people actually kind of like assholes because if you're legitimately nice, people generally tend to think that you're being nice to hide something. And if you are legitimately doing something shady and being an asshole, people think you're an asshole because something bad happened to you and so they feel bad for you like there are definitely people that do this kind of bullshit right um yeah but besides that and think about it like this too if this fragrance is worth three times more of the money or he's going to charge triple for it for as many people that are not going to buy his fragrance like say one person say there's three people that are going to buy his fragrance well because of this now two of those people aren't going to buy the fragrance anymore there's still going to be that one person that is going to buy it so we're still going to do the same thing, right? And I've said this before, too. I have met people that are into fragrances, right? Because I've just had such a wide social circle through many different hobbies, right? I've Again, I've told this story before. I was at uh, shopping around expensive fragrances, you know, like Neiman Marcus, those kind of things, right? And I was just chatting with this girl. Uh, we brought up a conversation. We we're talking about what fragrances we like. And I was like, I was like, oh, I like this one, pointed to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, blah, 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 right? And I'm like, well, what do you like, right? And she's like, oh, this one, this one, this one. And I'm like looking at this girl and I'm like, dude, you just named the whole fucking store. You can't possibly like all these fragrances, right? And she's like, oh, no, no, no. I don't actually wear any of the fragrances. I just collect them for the bottles. I think she told me, I don't remember exactly what, but I'd have to go... I know I talked about it before because the story was so ridiculous. It might have been something she told me she had spent like $20,000 on fragrances and never had worn one of them. There are people that actually do this, right? So how much money is he actually going to lose? Uh, you know what, dude? He might not lose very much at all. I mean, because there will always be a person that is still a Jeremy fan that's going to buy it. And then there's also going to be the rich person that buys things just to say they have the rich thing. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess he could do bad for it. But, again, he has 600,000 subscribers after he basically did shady shit to people on Patreon and made fake videos, in my opinion. So, again, uh, I think this may basically, I think it looks bad on the community. Even if it looks bad on him, it looks bad on you. So, like, look in the mirror, dude. Like, I mean, you've supported this kind of behavior. Do you know what I mean? 
So anyway, um, that's my opinion on it. I think he's got a bad rap for things that were not that bad. And I think he's got in the past for things that were bad. So anyway, I'm hoping to make $5 off this because I'm hoping the algorithm is in my favor. favor. Anyway, uh, the end.